there are 80 continuing education and scientific sessions available to SNMMI members. Dr. Umar Mahmud helped to develop the program for the meeting. Welcome to the program. As the Scientific Committee Chair, what are you most excited about this year? I'm really particularly excited about the Wagner Lecture. Uh, Dr. Satoshi Minashima, he's a brilliant uh, neuroscientist. He's giving a talk on brain imaging across multiple scales. Uh, Dr. Irene Bouvat is giving a, she's a uh, physicist, she's giving a great talk uh, for the Anger Lecture in Artificial Intelligence in Nuclear Medicine. The basic science summary sessions highlight uh, radiochemistry, highlight the physics, and the Young Investigator Award sessions are not only the rising stars in our field, but also some of the best science that we get to see in the whole meeting. One of my favorite parts of the whole meeting is the Highlight Symposium. That's at the end, and the entire meeting is summarized in 90 minutes. And I, I love that, uh, not only the intensity, but just the overview that one gets of the whole meeting. What are some of the things you learned behind the scenes about running a meeting? Yeah, so this is the fourth year that I've been running the meeting. Uh, I've been chair of the Scientific Program Committee uh, now for four years. Uh, and the thing that I really have learned over these last four years is just how many hundreds and hundreds of people it takes to put the entire meeting together. There's just a true synergy between the volunteers to the people putting all the components together, all the speakers uh, for the science sessions, all the speakers for the uh, continuing education sessions. And it's also impressive to me how far in advance one needs to put the meeting together. We start planning a meeting more than a year in advance, but really over the last six months, there's just weekly phone calls or every other week phone calls, putting things together, uh, a lot of different pieces. And it always seems to come together uh, thanks to the hard work of so many people. Times are different. This is the second year you had to hold the meeting virtually. What did you learn last year that may have helped you this year? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. So last year, we had to pivot very quickly. So the pandemic had just started, and we only had a couple of months to really decide we were going to go virtual from in-person. And a lot of software didn't exist on how to how to do that. And one of the things we, we really learned is that our members love having too much content. So we now have parallel tracks so we can people can go to different sessions. And the nice thing about having a virtual meeting is you can always go back, watch the other session. And we also went from 33 hours of programming uh, last year to over 118 hours, so more than triple the amount of programming content, which to me is just an, an incredible amount of work. And we have mostly live sessions this year also. And we also had the opportunity to increase our linkages. You know, in the last year, people have really felt apart. And so we had more networking events, more events where members could talk to members or members could talk to exhibitors. Those are the things that we've tried to enhance, the, the best parts of the meeting we've tried to make better. Thank you.